Nate has a really loud voice, and we apologize as I was saying. We have two generators here this morning, one with no oil, one with no gas. So if we combined them, we'd have the perfect generator. But here in New Jersey, the gas was, getting the gas was a problem, seeing as it's full service, but we're working through it. So welcome, I'm Marty, and we're so appreciative that everyone is here today. Um, and we can't wait to get started. This is Greg, our CFO. Um, I would, maybe you want to stand close. Okay. I'm, I'm we're sorry that there's the sound issue. No, we, uh, we always say at our galas that it's partners for life. Being that we're all close, it really, uh, really signifies that we are partners for life. So I will do my best uh, with my voice. I know the weather tried to keep everybody away, but we're too strong for the weather. And I'm really excited, really, really excited to be here today. Good morning, everyone. What? It is my absolute pleasure, she wants me to yell, to welcome you to the fourth annual New Jersey Walk for Life. My name is Greg, and I have the pleasure of serving, and I'm very proud to do so, as the Chief Operating Officer and Chief Financial Officer of this wonderful organization. Why are we here today? Today we walk in support of 10,000 patients diagnosed each year with leukemia, lymphoma, and other blood cancers, whose very best hope of a cure is a bone marrow transplant. Sadly, half of these men, women, and children will not receive one, and that, quite frankly, is unacceptable. They won't receive one because there's not a compatible donor. That's why today's event is so important. Together, we will and we can make a difference by raising the funds necessary to grow the gift of life bone marrow registry, increasing the chances that one day every patient will find their life-saving match. Collectively, we could do this. Nobody should perish for lack of having a suitable donor. And in only three short years, all of our Walk for Life events have added in excess of 5,000 donors to the Gift of Life registry. And believe it or not, resulting in over 80 matches to date. It's unbelievable. It's support for the people that are out here today. It really is. It, these moments make it all the more special. I encourage anyone who is interested in joining the registry to please do so today. It's a simple swab, up, down, left, up, down, right, and, uh, and you'll be in the registry. It'll just take a few moments of your time, but it might be the most important moments because you can end up saving a life. Today's walk is named in memory of an extraordinary man, Mr. Mel Cohen, a respected New Jersey resident. Mel was the executive director of Jewish Family and Sir, uh, Jewish Family and Children's Services of Monmouth County. He served in that capacity for 30 years. Mel received his second chance at life from Gift of Life, and he spent his time offering support, optimism, and hope to others in similar circumstances. We're very proud to walk in his honor today, and Mel, if you're watching over us, thank you for all that you've done. This is very emotional to me, and this is, I'm so incredibly happy. Today, we're also walking in honor of an incredibly handsome young man named Ezra Feynman. He's that, he's that cute little man with the NASA and the New York Yankees. He has great taste. And gift of life really thanks the Feynman family and friends for being here today and sharing that moment. So if you could just raise your hand, the Team Ezra. Yeah. From the bottom of, of our Gift of Life family, we thank you and we love you and we thank you for making a difference. And Ezra, buddy, it's great to see you out here. You look great. I love that smile. Look at that smile. It's so special today. I absolutely love it. Today is special for uh, another couple. Please help me 
welcome my friend Gabby and her family on stage. This is why we do what we do. It was just over two years ago that 10-year-old Gabby was diagnosed with AML. After visiting the doctors, you know, it was fatigue, bruises, fever. We might have thought that it was anemia. Her entire family was in shock and very scared when they found out the news at 4 o'clock in the morning that it was uh, AML on a Friday, on a Friday at 4 in the morning. We weren't expecting that call. They knew that a transplant would give her the best chance of survival. And all they could do was hope that a donor would be found in time. That's why we always encourage at every event that we have, if you have a moment, please swab. When they learned that a donor was identified, they were relieved. But a lot of people that were put in this circumstance knew that they had a long road ahead but they knew that they had the potential for a perfect match. Gabby's transplant took place at Boston's Children's Hospital, about 30 miles from the family's home in Methuen? Yeah, you got the right. Uh, uh, well, I, I was practicing <laughs> in, in Massachusetts. Her time in the hospital was difficult with a lot of restrictions and medications, but family, friends, and teachers really became an extended family, keeping Gabby and their family company, lending support wherever and whenever was needed. Like many patients, Gabby described the transplant itself as, you know, a little anticlimactic. She said, we just watched the cells go in and, in and out and we prayed that it would work. Well, you could see that the cells did work. Smile for a <laughs> Gabby is doing great, and like many girls her age, she has a long list of interests, and I'm not going to fail, I'm going to mention all of them, including arts and crafts, uh, a striker in soccer, softball, swimming, superheroes, pottery, and go-karts, and uh, for time's sake, wait, there's six or seven more, but did you, you, got it, you got the idea. So um, she's incredibly grateful to her donor and to the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation and is thrilled to have the chance today to say thank you to the man who helped save her life. A man that she imagines is young and smart. Gabby, your donor is 22 years old and lives in Lakewood, New Jersey, where he is a student. He said that when he learned that he was a match for you, he was filled with a million different emotions. He was excited to have the opportunity to help someone in need and never ever questions his commitment to follow through with his decision. Your donor is both nervous and extremely excited about meeting you today. We're all excited too. And we hope that this moment marks the beginning of a special friendship between you and your families and that you remain partners for life because we're all connected to one another and we cannot thank you enough for everybody's support. So without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you, Gabby, and your family to your hero, your donor, Ari. You never expect to be in this situation, so I can't express to you how thankful we are. Um, you gave us the greatest gift. <laughs> Pardon me. 
sorry. Uh huh. That we could have. And, uh, just, I don't even know how to begin to thank you. I just hope you can understand exactly how great your gift was to us and uh, how thankful we are. And uh, hopefully, more people can be like Ari. And uh, when you're in that situation, all you have is hope. And uh, when they tell you they have, which by the way, you were a perfect match, they said. They said all the markers were as close to perfect as possible. And um, like I said, we couldn't be any happier or more thankful. And uh, just saved up daughter's life, you know? So thank you. The weather couldn't hold us down today, so if Ari and Gabby could, could start our 5K and they'll lead the way. Everybody have a great walk and thank you so much everybody for your support today.